How's it going guys? My name's Joel and today I'm going to be trying the Truly Hard Seltzer Limited Edition Holiday Party Pack with 12 cans and 4 flavors. Holiday Sangria Style, Spiked Apple Spice, Cran Orange Sparkler, and Pomegranate Ginger Fizz. Each of the cans in this variety pack have 5% alcohol, so if you want to try it, remember, drink responsibly. After I try all 4 flavors in this variety pack, I'll be staying home, because that's how I drink responsibly. Now, real quick, let's look at the box. As you can tell, this is the holiday party pack. It's got the black backdrop, but what do you notice? All of that color in the front, and there's little dots on there. They look to me like different festive lights that you might see during these holidays around November and December. Perfect time. And on each of the cans, there are those same lights, and they are color coordinated according to the fruit in the can. You've got the red, the green, the orange, and the purple. And on each of the cans, the fruit is outlined in those same neon colors. And that's really cool. I can't wait to get this open. But here's the best part. On the top of the box, it says to and from. So you can give this to somebody as a Christmas gift. Who doesn't want that? I do. But anyways, let's get this box open. This is what the cans look like. And they look just as they did on the box. But one little thing is on the backs of the cans, or at least opposite of this label right here, is a little message on each can. The Holiday Sangria style says, serve cold, get warm. The Spiked Apple Spice says, spice spice baby. The Cran Orange Sparkler says, light it up. And the Pomegranate Ginger Fizz says, jingle and mingle. Now, as I try each of these flavors, I'm going to do a few things. First things first, I'm going to shake it up a little bit to make sure all those flavors are mixed real well. Then, I'm going to pop it open and let you know how great that pop sounds. Then I'm going to smell it. Then I'm going to taste it. Then I'm going to do a review of a thumbs up, a so-so, or a thumbs down. If anything comes to mind as I try any of these flavors, I'm going to let you know. Let's start off with the first flavor, Holiday Sangria Style. Mmm, crisps. I like it. Oh, wow. That's really good. This smells like sangria and fruit punch had a baby. Ooh, I love that baby. I want to drink this baby. Anyways, let's see what it tastes like. I'm telling you guys, this is not bad at all. And yes, it kind of does taste like sangria and fruit punch had a baby. In some sangrias, they put a stick of cinnamon in it and it kind of tastes like there is a little bit of cinnamon in this. And I'm not mad at all. It tastes really good. I hope the rest are just as good with their unique flavors. Truly, right on. I like this sangria style. I'm gonna give the holiday sangria style a thumbs up. The next flavor, spiked apple spice. Ooh, tremendous pop. Ooh, so this smells like a sour green apple candy that I've had before, which happened to have caramel in it. And you know, it's pretty spot on because that flavor profile, minus the caramel or with the caramel, I don't know yet, kind of smells like this. And I love that candy, especially during Halloween. Let's see what it tastes like. All right, so the spice in this spiked apple spice drink, I'm definitely tasting, which I definitely do appreciate. It kind of tastes like a combination of apple pie and spice cake. If you don't know what spice cake is, well, try spice cake, then you'll know what it is. But yeah, interesting flavor, and it is not bad at all. Um, it definitely is what it says it is. I'm going to give the spiked apple spice a real small thumbs up. The next flavor, Cran Orange Sparkler. Ooh, that one was so violent. Probably because I shook it too much. That's okay. Oh my goodness, this is reminding me of this flavor I've had before. It was a candy I had when I was a kid, and I know I cannot remember it, but it was probably one of the best candies I've ever had. I really, really hope this one is good. Uh, I didn't realize how much I like Cran Orange until I smelled this drink. But yeah, it was some type of gummy candy, and if I remember it, I'll post a picture of it. But otherwise, man, I'm ready. Two words, so good. I can't even really say too much else about it. The flavor in here is on point. It's the perfect amount. The alcohol, the seltzer, everything is mixed so well. And that candy that reminds me of this flavor that I had when I was a kid, I had when I was in the Azores. It's a group of islands in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean and it's inhabited mostly by Portuguese people. And they have all different types of snacks and candies from their country and the surrounding countries like Spain and other countries as well. But yeah, this is definitely a great memory that came back to me when I tried this drink. So, you already know what it's going to get rated. I'm going to give the Cran Orange Sparkler a double thumbs up. 
And the last flavor, pomegranate ginger fizz. Another great pop. And we got a spill. But I don't care. <laughs> Ooh, okay. So, pomegranate and ginger. I think those flavors are very strong by themselves. When you mix them together, yeah, I guess you get a little bit of fizz in there. The pomegranate ginger fizz, right? Right? Mm -hmm. But uh, I don't know if this one's going to be great. Yeah, I've never had pomegranate and ginger and fizz mixed together in anything before. If you have, let me know down in the comments below. But let's see what it tastes like. I don't know what in the world I just drank, but yeah, this is pomegranate and ginger in here. And you know what? I don't think anybody wants this as a flavor in a drink. Maybe as a salad dressing or maybe something else. But yeah, that's about all I can think of. I'm just going to say this one is a little bit too weird of a flavor combination. And they should have did ginger with whatever else you eat with ginger during the holidays. Which I can't even... Gingerbread. Oh my god. You could have made a gingerbread one. But anyways... Truly was spot on with the pomegranate and the ginger flavor. It's in this can, but I'm going to give it a rating of a so-so. Now, let's spin the wheel. Extra sip. All right, I'll take an extra sip of every single one. Yeah, that's weird, man. Oh, so good. Yeah, not bad, not bad. Pretty good, pretty good. If you tried this variety pack, remember, recycle your cans. And I want to hear from you guys. If you tried this variety pack, which one was your favorite flavor? Let me know down in the comments below. Now, last week, I asked you to ask me a question, and you replied. Now here is my reply. So, this week's Q&A, I got the biggest response yet. A total of nine questions. And if you ask it, I'm gonna answer it. So, in order to make sure that every single question is in the video, and that the video is not too long, I've already read each question and I've already answered each question and I put them on this piece of paper right here. I'm still going to spin the wheel every time I answer the question and whatever happens, I'm going to do it, but I just want everything to go along smoothly. So let's start off with the first question. Where do you find inspiration? I find inspiration from my number one life goal, which is to maintain happiness in my life. Remembering to think about the best and worst times of my past. Then on how to sustain the general feeling of happiness for the next best and better moments to come. Now, let's spin the wheel. Finish can. You got it. Let me finish this up. And done. The second question. Which of your possessions could you not live without? This may sound too cliche, but indoor plumbing I cannot live without. Because the ability to have access to water isn't a guarantee for all and is often taken for granted and I value it very much. But otherwise, from a different perspective, no particular material possession comes to mind. But my possessed ability to love, I would not want to live without. Let's spin the wheel. Are you kidding me? Oh, dang. Okay. Let's do it! <laughs> Let me finish this up. And done. What's the best part of your daily routine? It's a tie between coming home and going to bed. I most enjoy the things I do at home, like spending time with family and friends. But in the end, if it wasn't a great day, I get to sleep on my very comfortable mattress. And one more time, let's spin the wheel. Tell a joke. All right. If you're in a room and you're feeling cold, where should you go to warm up? The corner, because it's usually 90 degrees. That's a geometry joke for you. Hopefully you get it. If not, I'm bad at math too. It's all good. Let's go to the next question. If you could eliminate one weakness or limitation in your life, what would it be and why? I would remove my limitations of communication, which would allow me to communicate with anything and by any way, enabling me unprecedented communications. Basically, I can talk to any animal or anything that you can think of or even not think of. Think about that. Let's spin the wheel. Oh my goodness, this purple slice. Woo! Anyways, let's finish the can. Yeah! <laughs> Let me finish this up one more time. And done. I don't even know what question we're on. Uh, I'm just going to move on to the next one. Why does the sun make our hair lighter but our skin darker? 
The sun makes hair lighter from a process called photodegradation. The UV rays molecularly change the hairs and disallow them to absorb all but white light wavelengths, which is the color of the sun and the color of leached things. It makes your skin darker because melanin, which is what gives skin its color, when introduced to UV rays, the body's protective response is to produce more melanin in the body's outer layer of skin to protect the inner and other skin cells. Let's spin the wheel! Yo, man, oh my goodness, I don't even know what else I'm gonna do. It's gonna go back on that again, probably. Should I open up another can? Oh, I don't know, I've never done that before. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Anyways, let me do this one. Let me finish this up. And done. The next question, which one would you choose? Be alive and alone or about to die with a group of friends? I would say be alive and alone because I'm not too sure if to die with a group of friends is implying that they would die too, but I wouldn't want that. I would easily choose to be alone to avoid the possibility of death. All right, let's spin the wheel. Extra sip, okay, but I don't have anything to sip, so I don't know what I'm gonna do. Let's see if there's any juice still left in these cans. That's a drop right there. That's a little drop right there. Look at that, no drops. Yeah, ooh, look at that. That's an extra, extra drop. Okay, there's your sip right there. All right? Mmm, extra sip. The next question, which superpower would you not want? I would not want the superpower to slow down time if the counteracting effect on me was that regardless, I age the same base standard of time while using my superpower. Basically, if I use my superpower, I am still aging the same amount of time. But you guys around me who are affected by my superpower are aging at a slower process. If I fall asleep just one time, I might wake up and be the oldest man alive. What? That would be terrible. Let's spin the wheel. Thank you. Tell a joke. <laughs> All right, folks, we're going into dad joke territory. So here it is. Why was the dog afraid of the tree? Because the tree had big bark. I know guys, I'm sorry. Uh, things are happening to me right now as I'm drinking all these drinks and doing things. So that's your joke. The next question. If you had the chance to invent a country, what would you name it? I would name it peace. And the words equality above all else would be the motto and the premise of every mutually agreed upon rule and standard of living. There would be no money and everyone would be responsible for themselves and family members to survive, like food and shelter. Every action would be for the everlasting of the environment first and the people second. Let's spin the wheel. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> Finish a can. Okay, okay. Why? Why? <laughs> Let's pick a flavor. Yeah. This is the first time ever, but I am actually going to finish a fifth can of the reviewed variety pack. And I'm going to pick my favorite, the Cran Orange Sparkler. So, here we go. Ooh, what a great pop. Now, let me finish this up. <laughs> and done. And finally, the last question. Favorite outdoor activity. My favorite outdoor activity is driving my car because of where it allows me to go quickly and the things I can do when I'm driven somewhere. The act of driving was something I feared to do when I was younger, but now I enjoy driving on the H1 freeway only after everyone decides to finally do the minimum speed limit and not leave 10 car length gaps in front of them and lastly not break for literally nothing. And now folks, for the very last time, I'm going to spin the wheel. <laughs> Extra sip. I know there ain't nothing left in these, but maybe there's just a little bit inside this one can right here. Uh, let's see. Nothing. All right, let's try the other ones. There's something in there. I guess I missed it the first time. And nothing in there. You know what? That's my sip though. 
Woo! That was so much. <laughs> this was a lot of fun. I want to thank all of you that sent me a question via my Instagram page. Keep an eye out for the next one. And as always, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video, which will be on December 1st, because I'm going to be changing up what I'm going to be reviewing. And you'll see it, and hopefully you'll like it too. I'll give you a hint. It has something to do with Christmas, and it's a holiday that I celebrate. So I'll see you on December 1st.